Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. My name's Mark Love, and today I'm going to be showing you a 2023 Renegade Valencia. This is a 38 uh, bunkhouse model. In fact, I think I just did a, another Valencia not more than five or six weeks ago, uh, but we have a few of them available. They've made some nice changes for this year, and we'll, we'll talk about those. And they also have the app to open all your slides, your awnings and everything. When we get inside, I'll show you that. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, first off, this is on what they call the S2 RV chassis. This chassis is built for the RV industry specifically by uh, Freightliner Custom Chassis. Uh, it is a 31,000 GVWR. 279-inch uh, wheelbase. So we've got 38 feet here, and uh, it's powered by a 6.7 Cummins, which is a 360-horse engine, uh, develops 800 foot-pounds of torque. And we've shown you these quite a bit, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. But the nice thing about the Super Cs, if you like to work on your coach yourself, these are what you want. It's easier to get in here, access your fluids, uh, windshield wiper, coolant. Here's your air filter, the little gauge to, uh, to tell you how dirty your air filter is getting. On the other side, we have our dipsticks, our oil, our transmission, our um, water separator and things like that. All very easy to access. And another thing I like about this hood, it does have a, a damp dampener on it, so if the wind uh, catches it and blows it over while you're working on it, it doesn't come slamming down on your head. Okay, let's walk around the outside a little bit. Now, this is the, uh, what do they call this? Burnout is the color. And they've changed uh, both the front and rear caps this year. So that front cap, it's not quite so boxy. Uh, it does have a window up there with a, a power uh, shade. And there is a sleeper up in there. So let's, uh, let's take a look at some of the storage here. These first two compartments. One of the things I like is the way they line these. They carpet their, their steel uh, compartments really nicely finished. What you're seeing here, by the way, are transit bars. Uh, they recommend you put them in when you travel, but they don't come with them in, so uh, they're just sort of there for safety. And right here we do have an air hose. You've got an air compressor on board. You might as well be able to use it. There's a, uh, a chuck to plug into and you can fill your tires or your toys or maybe your Jeep after you've gone on a gnarly trail and let all the air out, you want to air them back up. Uh, another thing that I like to point out, these compartment doors are one of the best in the industry. Uh, nice and thick, well insulated, and they have double latches. You see some RVs, you really got to slam hard to get them to shut. These are nice and smooth. Uh, we also have an outside TV here. So this is a 32 inch insignia, and it does pull out and will tilt for you. And while we're out here, you might as well get a shot of the awning. That is a Gerard awning. And over here next to our TV, we have our uh, Truma Aqua Goat. Now, uh, the Valencias don't have the Aqua Hots or the Hydronic Heating, but this is an on-demand propane water heater. So two or three people can shower back to back. You've got a little uh, accumulator tank in there, so you, you don't have the fluctuations in temperature. Uh, it's easy for a few people to shower one right after another without running out of water. There's actually a 150 gallon uh, fresh water tank on this coach. Okay, let's move down a little farther. And this compartment, you can see it goes under there a little ways. And this is a nice one if you've got like a portable table or some of those uh, zero gravity chairs are a little bit longer and you need a place to store them. You've got room right there. And this is just another storage compartment. Right here we do have a propane quick connect so if you have a, uh, a gas grill you like to use, uh, you can hook it up right there, bring it outside on your patio side and cook out here. 
and then one more compartment here and you can see how nicely finished they are they all have their own light oop I must have the power off in here uh, they all have their own uh, separate light As we move around the back and again this is a new cap and uh, I think they did a good job the Valencia's had kind of become stagnant I guess is the right term it had been five or six or seven years before they had made uh, any changes so with the new cap some new colors inside they did a great facelift on it uh, you can see your camera up there you got the three-way camera system you are rated to pull 12,000 pounds uh, so for a, for a 360 horse engine that's a good tow rating and if you are going to pull much over 10 or 12,000 pounds I know people do it but really you should step up to the Verona get the bigger engine the heavier chassis if you're going to be pulling 15 or 20,000 pounds you do get your two inch receiver you got your seven way right here and also on board is an integrated uh, Kurt brake controller up in the dash area over on the driver's side in the rear compartment you can see we've got our our uh, transfer switch and surge protector we also have a 50 amp cord on a power reel now it's manual out but you you've got a power uh, rewind on it and the nicest thing about these is when you get to winter last week we had a bitter cold week when it's zero degrees and you're wrestling with one of those cords it's nice to have that power wind up in this compartment, we've got our Onan 8,000-watt uh, quiet diesel generator. The best thing about this generator is it's one of the most common in the RV industry. I think Renegade uses them from their, uh, from their Veracruz all the way up through the Verona and Verona LE, and uh, possibly even on the Explorers. The 8,000 watt, you can get parts for. They're easy to work on, they're very common, so if you do need to have maintenance or you have to replace something, you can get the parts. For some of the bigger ones, you're having a little more trouble with like the 12,500 right now. Uh, diesel fuel fill here, your def fuel is up by the, uh, by the driver door. This is our water compartment. So we have a power hose reel for the water hose also here. Little place to store your sewer hose. Uh, we've got low point drains right here. We can check our battery, our fresh tank, uh, gray and black. By the way, I said 150 gallons of fresh. We have 75 on both black and gray. Here are your dump valves in an enclosed uh, heated area up in there. You've got a power uh, fill for your water tank or if you're uh, running off city water, you, you just turn that valve. And then you also have a black tank flush here and a place to bring in cable if you've got park cable or a portable satellite, something like that. Also, there's a whole house filter right there, low point drain, uh, just very well thought out. Come over to these two compartments and there's not a lot of storage you can see we've got our our uh, dump line here but we've got a bland gray and a black tank here 75 gallons each and both of these have 12 volt blanket heaters up underneath so if you are in real cold weather and so many people use these snowmobiling or for winter use it's nice to have those tank heaters on there Move up to this compartment, and if you notice, there's no lock on this one, and this is the only one without a lock. That tells you it is the propane compartment. Uh, that makes it easily accessible by the fire department if there's an emergency. Nice large propane tank there. And then one of the nice features about up here, we've got a battery compartment. These are lithium batteries. and there's two right here and we actually have the upgrade there is a third lithium battery on here and 375 watt solar panels on the roof so with 525 watts of solar three lithium batteries 
you can stay out a long time and not worry about running out of power. As you are getting low, you've got an auto gen start. You can fire your generator up and recharge those batteries quite quickly. Uh, over on this side, these are the starting batteries is what you're seeing there. And uh, like I say, right here's your def fill. Right here is actually a 110 outlet. That's for your engine heater. And you know, on a on a cold day, if you can get your generator started, you can run a, a cord, you know, from your from the back of the coach right here to preheat your engine. And then these do have the air ride seats. They pivot around, and I like the way they put heavy duty grab handles in here it makes it easy to step up to have some place to hold on to these are kind of tall and if you're a shorter person it's a little bit more effort to get in here but uh very easy and they've got this uh this steel tread here kind of scrapes the snow off as you're getting in okay uh let's go around and take a look inside Why don't you move up to the cab and then I'll uh, walk to the back and I kind of like to leave the slides in. A lot of people have commented that they want to see what it's like when you're traveling in here. And you can see how much room I've got with the slides in. Easy to get into your kitchen area. I can access the refrigerator and freezer without any problem. Uh, got washer dryer here. I'll show you that later. But if you need to get into the bathroom, this door opens up all the way with the slide in. Maybe you've got some kids that want to come back and take a little nap while you're driving. We've got the bunk beds right here. And as you can see, I can get all the way back to the master bed and I'm short enough that I could take a nap on this while we're traveling. If you're over, you know, 6'2 or so, your feet might hang off a little bit or you have to sleep diagonally. But you can see how much room you've got to walk through here while the slides are in. And as we back up here, the next thing I want to talk about is the uh, Vega Touch. And I'd already paired it to my phone. Let's see if we're still there. And uh, it may take a second to get back in here. But basically, all of your controls right here on your Firefly panel are also on your phone. You can see I can have my master light on and off. What I'm going to do right now, I'm going to get into the home screen, and I'm going to look for my slide outs, which is right there. Confirm and I'm going to open my slides. So this front slide, the only thing about using this app is you have to keep your finger on it while you're running it out. One of the nice things I think about having this app is when you're alone and you're opening this up, if you're in a tight spot, maybe you have a tree or a rock over there, or maybe you're so packed in a campground there's a neighbor right there, and you want to walk outside and see how much clearance you have for that slide, you can do it. Same thing on the awning. I actually opened the awning this morning with this app. And you can see that doesn't take too long. And then let me get the back one open. So from this app, I can control my temperature, I can level the coach, I can open and close the slides, same with the awning, adjust the heat, uh, turn on the lights individually, uh, pretty much everything that you can do on your Firefly panel, you can do right here. Okay, we got that open now. Let's, let's move up to the cab, and I want to talk about this a little bit. They kind of redesigned this a little bit, and you do have a nice sleeper here. Now, I'm going to pull this out. It helps if you're just a little bit taller than me, so you've got the arm reach. You see, you've got a nice sleeper here. You do have a 19-inch uh, TV here. 
for who's ever sleeping up here when you're getting ready to travel and you want to slide this in you don't have such a, a cave-like effect when you're stepping into the cab area another nice thing I, I like this feature right here I can actually turn off all of my lights right here all on all off uh, I do have a bunk shade right there so when it's nighttime you can close that off and get a shot of this plug right here you're seeing these more and more you've got a couple of 110 plugs you got a USB port you've got a charging port there's uh, two or three of those around the coach uh, kind of handy if you hop up in bed and want to plug your phone in and charge it right there okay I mentioned this is the uh, S2 RV chassis made specifically for the RV industry um, you know very simple dash here a couple of things I will point out let's go ahead and uh, fire this up so I wanted to get my monitor on here and nice thing about this you can remove it if you want to uh, you know carry it outside or something we got low air right now that'll shut off here in a second so we can pair our phone to it uh, you know our drive app uh, you have to get in there and you've got all these app here so if you're going to campgrounds trip history vehicle profile that's nice because you can program in your height and your width so if you're going on a road that's got a, a low overpass it'll give you a warning there you've got your weather apps and everything right there and then uh, let me see get into the camera and right there it is and there we are that's showing uh, the side right now now for some reason when I switch to the back it tends to shut off and it'll come back up in a in a minute but I'll just pull that up you can see it, it switched to the back on there this is our uh, leveler system auto levelers very easy you just power that on hit auto level or you can do it from your phone app here's a nice feature that when Renegade was building these a few years ago you couldn't dump the rear airbags but if you listen well you may not be able to hear it but if you look up front you can tell our rear airbags are dumped and the reason you would want to do that let's say you pull into a, a campground and you're on kind of a hill and you're aired up your jacks may come down and, and only have a couple inches once they touch. If I drop those airbags, now I've got more travel in my jacks and it's a lot easier to level it. Okay, it is a six-speed Allison transmission here. Uh, over here on this side, you've got your lights, you've got your cruise control and everything. It's really kind of a basic dash. And one of the things about the Valencias, they don't intimidate people it's like driving a big truck and everybody's driven a truck at one time or another you don't have so many gauges and dials and worrying about locking in your rear axle and stuff like that so it's a pretty simple dash here but uh, very you know ergonomically designed it's a comfortable seat comfortable driving position for you here okay let's go ahead and shut that off and take a look at the rest of the floor plan here so over here by your door you have your main TV and this is a 40 inch TV uh, the insignia with the sound bar pulls out and it'll angle for you here in the kitchen we've got a little bit of storage here you can see you've got your owner's manuals up there In here you've got a little more storage and you've got your uh, uh, your uh, wireless router there uh, an area for video components up here now they used to come with blu-ray players they really don't anymore people tend to use streaming services a lot more these days uh, over here on the countertop we have a nice large single undermount sink and a residential style sprayer underneath here you've got some good storage place for your trash can a 
Then over here we have three more drawers. And uh, there's your water filter. You can see all your remotes there. A uh, little lube for your slide out. Might as well leave this out. And you can see these are all soft closed drawers. Here's some touch up paint for that outside paint job. It's a three color paint job. And then over here we have our fuses. So these are our breakers and our fuses for all your systems. Above that we do have a propane stove and I actually like cooking over gas. Uh, remove these covers, you've got a place to store them right here. And if you notice, this is a three burner and it's what they call the sealed burner stove. If you look how tight this is, you don't get food down in there. So it's a lot easier to keep clean. This is really a nice stove. Up here we've got our convection microwave. You rarely see ovens in these anymore, so most units have a, a convection microwave there. And then we do have our residential refrigerator. And then up here, this is a deep storage cabinet up here. Okay, let's take a look on the other side. We've got a nice couch here across from your main TV. You got storage up above. That cushion there is for when you convert this uh, dinette into a bed. I like their, their hidden hardware here. Uh, very nice cabinetry and hardware. Uh, nice uh, wall sconces. You do have a dinette table that converts to a sleeper. Uh, basically anytime you see that angled piece it tells you it'll drop down, rest on those cleats there, and then you would fill it in uh, here under each bench. You've got a storage drawer and again this is to fill in when you are making this into a bed. You got the same thing over on this side. And as you can see, you've got a couple of seat belts right here. You have two more in the couch. So I guess you can seat belt in six people. Okay, let's move back toward the bedroom area. First thing I'll show you is we do have the Splendid stackable washer and dryer. Now if you chose not to have this, you'd basically have another wardrobe or storage closet here. And then as we back in here, this is our bunk area. Now both of these bunks, they have LED lights up there. You can see they each have their own 19 inch TV with a remote day-night shades throughout. And then under here we have three more storage drawers and these actually pull out quite a ways. And again all soft clothes, that's a nice feature. Okay across from our bunks we have our bathroom and I'm just gonna open this up and and let you get in and take a look around. Uh, there we go. I don't know if you can get past that door or not. By the way, there are seven foot ceilings in the Valencia. So even if you're quite tall, you know, six two, six three, you can get in there and with the skylight take a shower and not have to be hunched over. And that is a porcelain toilet there. Okay, moving back now into the master uh, 
bedroom. You can see we've got pedestals on both sides of the bed and I guess I'm kind of in your way, but you've got that same little plug with your USB port, your phone charger on each side. So if you've got a sleep apnea machine or something, plenty of room here and look how much room you've got up above. There are four cabinet doors. They're open all the way through so you can get longer items in there. You each have little reading lights and you actually have another uh, firefly panel here where you can shut off all your lights in the main coach if you go to bed and, and forget to turn them off up front. They had in a nice uh, uh, headboard this year too. New uh, wallpaper, new flooring throughout, some new colors. I like this kind of a gray, uh, this is called the Hamden interior, mostly a gray or lighter brown. Uh, under our bed here, this is something important to point out. You do get a little storage area here, which is pretty nice, but right here is our 150 gallon fresh water. There's two 75 gallon tanks, your water pumps right there, your bypass valves right there, your low point or you know main water drain is all right there. Easy to access, easy to winterize, and with it all being in the interior of the coach, you really don't have any risk of freeze ups. And there is a little bar here I could pull out and prop it up. I wouldn't have to sit here and hold it. And then uh, let's take a look at some of our wardrobe and storage here. On this side, we've got a shirt closet with three more pull-out drawers. You have your 32-inch TV here in the bedroom, and again, that'll pull out and tilt. Under here, you've got room for some video components. And like I say, they really don't send Blu-ray or anything. There is a satellite on this if you want to get Dish or Direct or uh, Apple TV or something. That's the way most people seem to be going. Here is a very long drawer underneath. And then over here, this is kind of unique. You've got a couple of uh, storage or, or, you know, shirt closets, but you can take that right out. And if you've got, you know, longer dresses or coats or, you know, possibly even want to, you know, put a, a gun in there or, you know, short pair of skis or something, you've got room for larger items. And, uh, oops, I guess that's got to start the other way. There we go. All right, uh, two 15,000 uh, BTU ACs with heat pumps. And I actually came out this morning and it's about, you know, 39 degrees right now. I was starting to get a little bit of heat out of those heat pumps. When you get up to 45, 50 degrees, there's enough, you know, heat outside that you can reverse that process and blow it down in here electrically from your air conditioner without turning your furnace on. Kind of a nice feature. Okay, and of course, each bunk has its own screen. Not that there's any privacy in an RV, but at least you can't see them. All right, well, I think that is just about it. Uh, again, this is a 2023 uh, Renegade Valencia. It's the 38 bunkhouse model. Let me give you my contact info. Again, my name's Mark Love. Best way to get a hold of me is my cell phone, 970-631-0083, or uh, email me at mlove at transwest.com. Uh, winter is <laughs> upon us. We're just about to come to the end of the year. So uh, thank you, everybody, that has watched this year. We will see you again in January. And, and don't let any of us forget, Michigan plays Saturday night. Big game against TS, uh, TCU. So. Go blue and uh, happy trails. We'll see you next time, my friends.